वेलकम व्यूअर्स टू द लीगल सेगमेंट ऑफ सितारे टीवी दिस इज श्वेता खंडेलवाल आई एम एन अटोर्नी आई स्पेशलाइज इन इमिग्रेशन लॉ एंड आई प्रैक्टिस हेयर इन सैना क्लारा टुडे वील डिस्कस वेज इन विच एन इंटरनेशनल स्टूडेंट ऑन एन एफ वन वीजा कैन वर्क इन द यू एस देर आर टू वेज इन विच अ स्टूडेंट कैन वर्क इन द यू एस वन इज the optional practical training or the opt program and the other is the curricular practical training or the cpt program the cpt program is a work study program a student can do an internship or any other work study arrangement that is essential to the curriculum so what is important is the work study should be an integral part of the course and it should be mandatory for all students who take that course cpt is restricted it is issued for a particular employer and for a particular location and the student is required to maintain a full course of study on the f1 visa because a student is required to maintain a full course of study the cpt is an expensive option while there is no restriction on the number of times that a student can be on cpt but full time cpt of 365 days or more will affect the student's eligibility for an opt for the same level of education Let's now talk about the OPT program which is a more popular program. It is popular because it is flexible. There is no restriction on the number of hours or the employer for whom the student can work. The student can work for any number of hours for any number of employers. However, the student cannot remain unemployed for more than 90 days while on an OPT. since a student is not required to be enrolled in college opt works out much cheaper however the student must apply for an employment authorization document to be eligible to work and it is this ead or the employment authorization document that allows the student to work full time in the us opt is usually issued for 12 months and if the student is enrolled in science technology engineering or math then an additional 17 months of opt is available which makes it a total of 29 months of opt training so this is essentially a work authorization given to you for 29 months so long as you continue to work in a field of study that is relevant to your academic program CPT is available at different points in a student's career so you can do it while the school is in session during vacation or after the completion of the course most students rather do it after the course is over because this allows them to work full time it is interesting to note that self employment is possible on OPT so you can start a company and work for the company while you are on opt if you are a major in e- any of the stem subjects science technology engineering or math and you have a total of 29 months of opt period then it's a great opportunity for you to start a company work for that company and see if the company has any prospects in the us If things go well this company can ultimately sponsor your green card or your H1B visa I hope you found this session informative and useful as usual if you have any comments thoughts suggestions or feedback feel free to email me at shweta@kandelwallaw.com see you next week